Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me and I'm also going to announce the winner of the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette giveaway at the end of the video. So hang tight um, you guys. Um, I guess if you don't want to see this chit chat get ready with me and you just want to know who the winner is then you can just go towards to the end of the video and get my ears on I'm gonna start priming my face and what I've really been using lately is um, my Urban Decay self-adjusting primer um, and I haven't really been using foundation lately because um, since my diet, since I started my diet, I my skin has been really um, like improving dramatically. I mean, obviously you can see I have a pimple right here, and then I have a pimple right here, but that is like that is like nothing, nothing compared to what it used to be when I used to have acne just up here. This right here is just scarring from previous breakouts, but. I used to, if you go back in my older videos, you would see that I break out, uh, I would break out all along here, here, just basically my neck and my chin area, and I would always have to wear full coverage foundation to feel, um, like, you know, feel good, you know, but anyway, so I go on with this, and this is amazing, you guys, you'll see just in a second when I put it on, it is absolutely amazing. But I, I do put quite a bit on because I feel like it's not only like a primer, but I feel like it's um it's a very like light light coverage, like kind of like a a color corrector kind of. So as you can see, like on this side, you know, you can see the red quite a bit. And on this side it's not so bad. So I really like um, I really like this stuff for like a little bit of coverage, a little bit of color correcting um, in my skin, and it just gives my skin this really nice even even tone. Okay, mostly, you know, could you tell the difference this side to this side? I mean, it just looks to me it looks better. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera or not. But yeah, don't mind if you hear kittens in the background. My uh, my husband, he um, found some kittens at work and he couldn't leave them there because basically he's a truck driver, he um, has a CDL and he works for like a, a metal scrap company and he'll go all over Michigan picking up um, trailers. Um, and then bringing him back to the scrap yard. So basically that's what he does. And um, he went to this one location and right underneath the trailer that he was supposed to move there was a litter of kittens. And the mother um, ran off and in that particular area um, there was a lot of construction going on and it was basically he couldn't move the kittens to a safer area because there was no safe area for the mother to find and then if he did move the kittens the mother we would fear that the mother wouldn't be able to find them and so we both he called me he's like well I have kittens baby and I said what <laughs> I was like what the fuck are you talking about he's like I found these kittens blah 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 he explained and then I was like well the only thing we can do is take them home and raise them ourselves so that's what we were doing um, my one my one chihuahua girl, um, her name is Swan, she had one puppy. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that she has um, one male puppy and um, she had to have a C-section because he was basically with the dog's uterus. Um, they, they're like, it's like this. It's not one big uterus like ours, they have two and they're called horns. And basically it comes down like a V and then it comes out the chute. <laughs> but anyway, the, the puppy was literally like where my elbows are, like up, like 
you know, basically the, the puppy was trying to come out sideways, but obviously you can't come out sideways. That's just not possible. So um, we had to, she had to have a C-section, and luckily he was still living. Everything his umbilical cord was intact, and he was he was still in his little sack. Um, but anyway, so he was fortunate to say the least to survive and now he's a fatty patty she um has taken to the kittens and so she's like their mom now and she lets them nurse she cleans them she's a very very amazing mother um to them kittens and so um but there's they don't they try to nurse off of her but it's not the same like the nipples on a dog is are not the same as the nipples on a cat um so it's kind of hard for the the kittens to really draw the milk out that they need so every um, every few hours i have to um supplement them with some milk and i just so happen to have fresh goat's milk from one of my breeder friends they're growing their eyes are just starting to open now and they're doing really well work out twice a day in the morning I get up I drink water I take my fat burner pills the lean mode um, and it's supposed to help it's non stimulant it doesn't have any caffeine in it because caffeine does not agree with me um, but I do that and then I do um, hit cardio which is like high intensity um, workout for probably about 20 minutes sometimes it's 12 minutes sometimes it's 20 minutes depending on how I feel um, but I do that and and then in the evening time after dinner I do um, a targeted workout um, so like tonight will be ab it will be an ab workout because last night was my arm chest and back workout and so I work out twice a day and I don't want to um, be having like heavy foundation on while I'm like sweating bullets you know what I mean because it's like you feel like, oh, it's just gross on your skin. So I try not to go too heavy nowadays, but um, I just take my NARS Light Reflecting Powder and I just pat it on there just to set the concealer and to brighten the under eye area. I take my Smack Studio Fix Powder. Yeah, I know it's considered a full coverage foundation, but I take my um, It Cosmetics um, 211 brush, the big one, big, very dense, big. And I just like swirl it in there, the foundation compact, and I just kind of press it just like that. Like I said, I don't like to add too much, but I do like to have a little bit more coverage. So honestly, I don't, for my diet, I don't feel like I am starved. I really don't because I have to eat every couple of hours. It's just what I'm eating. Like when I see, when I see my husband eating, you know, his junk food and it doesn't bother me throughout the day because I'm not used to really eating throughout the day anyway. But, like, at nighttime, when I'm, like, you know, I'm used to binge eating, that's when it starts getting real for me because I'm used to binge eating at night. Um, but I'm going to take my Tarte um, Park Ave Princess Waterproof Bronzer. And I got this in my Ipsy bag, and I thought it was pretty amazing because look at the size, you guys. Like, that's pretty awesome. So I'm just going to... um put that you know as bronzer <laughs> you guys know how to do bronzer well I'm gonna assume you do so like in my one video I don't know if any of you guys like my my regular subbies my my makeup buddies um if you notice there was someone on my I think it was my color pop video well, I had a color a couple of color pop videos, but there was this girl on there that said that my that my contour what happened to my contouring like I'm sorry, I'm not perfect, okay? I don't have the time. I really don't have the time to sit around and make videos, but I do it anyway because I enjoy it 
And when I get on the camera, I want to have makeup on, you know, I want to be presentable. And when I don't have time to do stuff, I kind of rush through it and things don't turn out that great, you know. I'm, I'm human. I'm not perfect. I will never claim to be, like, to be, act like I'm perfect. And it's just, it just irritates me that someone would go onto someone else's video and be like, oh, you need to learn contouring, or you need to do this, or what happened to this, or like, who the hell are you? Like, and the girl that said this, like, her eyebrows literally looked like shit, okay? And I don't like to be mean like that. I really don't. But if you come at me like that and you want to talk about my shit, then I'm going to be like, well, what the fuck about you? Like, who the hell are you? You aren't perfect. Don't come fucking judging me because I'm fucking doing me. You know what I mean? But whatever. I try not to get myself too worked up about it. But, you know, I have feelings too. You know, I'm an adult. I'm a 30-year-old woman. Yes, I have kids. But if you come at me, I still have feelings, you know? So I'm just going to contour my nose with the same stuff and I'm just going to use my Luxie 131 mini angled. I've been loving using this for contouring my nose because it just it gets it's just the right shape that I like for my nose and then I just go like you know down like this. And you know, basically they said that my my nose contour was shit. But funny thing that day I had tried something new um, I put a little bit of blush on the tip of my nose and it, and it made it look bigger. So that's what she was talking about. Like, which I agree, it was not the best contouring job that I've ever done. But I'm human. Like I said, I tried something new. It didn't work out and I couldn't fix it. Well, I probably could have, but I wasn't in the mood and I didn't have the time. So I was like, whatevs. You guys will understand if I look like crap, right? I hope so. I'm not on here to look amazing at all times. I mean, I'm human, like I said, you know? But whatever. I really didn't want to waste my time or my energy on that person, but, like, I'm not even a big YouTuber. I'm just, I'm still new. I haven't even been on here for a year yet. And, like, people already trying to attack me and shit. I have a subscriber, and you know who you are, um, who gets distracted by my highlight throughout this whole video. <laughs> so, I'm going to wait till, normally, after my blush, I do my highlight. But I'm going to wait till the end to do my highlight because, um, I want you, I want her to be able to, um, you know, be able to focus on... Um, the conversation I'm having rather than the blind that's coming from my face. Um, but anyway, I have a, I also have a subscriber that asked me about my nails. And there's really, I don't really do much with my nails. I mean, I do obviously do stuff with my nails because you can see my nails are long, they're shaped, they, they're polished. Um, but basically what I do, the, the length is my length. Like, these are my nails underneath, okay? But I do have acrylic on top. I went ugh, probably like several months ago, like four or five, maybe six months ago, and I got my nails done for the first time in like a very long time. And and I originally got the, um, the stiletto nails, the pointy ones. And over time, I changed the shape, and I ended up going with the um, the coffin shape, which I really, really love. Um, but anyway, by the time I did that, the my my um my own nail, my natural nail had been grown out. So this is all my natural nail, except there's acrylic on top, so it helps um, my nails grow long and so they're not like, you know, breaking off every time I turn around, which that's what they do naturally. So, um, but anyway, so basically what I do is I go get them filled maybe once a month and I basically all I have them do is fill my nails because they don't do the shape that I want. I um, mean, they do, but I, I'm very particular about my nails, so, um, 
I go home I just have them you know fill it and then they file it and whatever so when I go home after I get my nails filled I will file that down to make it nice and smooth so there's no like bump there because I know a lot of people they have that acrylic bump and I that drives me nuts like you have no idea um, but anyway, so I just file it down I right here and make it smooth and then I file it down here so it's not so thick at the ends either. So it gives it that nice um, natural looking arch that my nails have and all, of course I have the coffin, the coffin shape as well. But um, <laughs> that's basically all I do and then once I'm done filing them and smoothing them out and everything I will put my polish on like I'll put my base coat, the Revlon quick dry base coat. Um, and then uh, the the color that I have on now, which I've been loving, because it's like natural. It's not like you know, it goes with everything, you know. And this is the Essie um, one one two um, Mademoiselle color. I love this color. And then I'll go over to, like I'll do two coats of this, and then one coat of the um, the top coat, which is this um, I N M out the door. America's number one super fast drying top coat which is oh I love it I got this from Sally's so you know what I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera because this take me a little while and I'm not gonna be able to talk while I do this because I have to really focus and, and you know what I mean like when you're doing your brows you know so now that my brows are done 20 years later <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and uh, take my Mac paint pot in painterly which is my holy grail <laughs> and my concealer brush and I'm just going to prime my lids for my base shade out of the makeup geek and mini Emmy way palette I'm gonna go with this color right here which is um, beaches and cream I believe so for a base shade out of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, you can use um, Peaches and Cream here at the bottom as a base shade. Oh, I love the smell. It's so funny that the um, the base shade I use out of this palette is called Beaches and Cream, and this one's called Peaches and Cream. <laughs> I know it's funny. It's hilarious. We're all dying of laughter. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Um, and then what I did is I took my, where the fuck is my fluffy bunding brush? Do you guys know my Bugatti's fluffy bunding? It's not, a, it's not called a fluffy blending brush. It's called the tapered blending. But I call it the fluffy blending brush because I just do. <laughs> I like that better. So then I'm going to take this color right here as my transition shade. It's called Sora, S-O-R-A right there and if you're using the sweet peach palette you can use uh, this color here puree but you maybe mix it with a little bit of Georgia just to give it that right color so puree and Georgia like dip once into puree and um, once into Georgia and you'll get a very similar shade to that one I'm not gonna do either I ooh. <laughs> I'm not going to do either eye because I feel like that will take up too much time and um, I know this video is going to be long as it is because it's a chit chat get ready with me and I love to talk you guys know so um, I just want to get this done not done and over with but I just don't want it to drag on you know what I mean so I'm just going to go in the transition so I'm having a hard time deciding if I'm going to spend the money on the um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. I have the Modern Renaissance, which I freaking love. Um, but I don't know if I want. I don't know if I want to invest in in the Subculture Palette or not. Cause it, I mean I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've seen so many negative reviews about it, and forty two dollars is kind of like. I don't know if I want to spend that and it's hard for me to decide but I'm going to take my Luxie 121 mini tapered and I'm going to mix two colors together um, these two colors right here this one and this one which is um, Frappe and Aphrodite 
right here frappe and aphrodite and i'm just gonna mix them together just go in go in you know and then um tap it off quite a bit because i don't want too much going in and then i'm gonna do the outer corner here just right here literally the outer corner i feel like this is like a typical manny look that i'm doing just focusing in the outer corner and First I was kind of doing like swiping motions just to get the product on the lid and then I'm going to do circle motions to blend it. Give it a nice good blend either way. So once most of the product is off of my brush, like you lay down the product, the most product where you want the most product, okay? And then once that is done, I kind of swipe it in to get a little bit of color in the crease as well so I don't know if I want to get that palette or not like my friend Taffy she did a review on it and a beautiful makeup look with it like oh my god it looked stunning um but I'm just a little scared you know I don't when I buy a palette I a lot of the times I buy a palette because I like it and I want it but a lot and other times most of the time I buy a palette so I can review it for you guys so that you can see it and you can decide if you want to invest in it but like you guys I'm not rich okay and I have to pay for everything I get except for that um cocoa carbon cocoa um teeth whitening system like that was awesome I got that for free <laughs> but um the point is <laughs> 99.9% .9 of the shit that I have, I have to pay for. So, um, I, I'm like you guys know, you know, I look at reviews and if I see something that's, that a lot of people are hating, then I'm not, I don't really want to invest in it because what if I hate it? I mean, I could just return it, but I don't want to return shit that I purchase. I want to enjoy it, you know what I mean? So, what do you guys think? Tell me what you think about the, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, subculture palette like I want to hear your guys' thoughts because if you guys want me to review it I will seriously find a way to get that and I will pay for it and I will get it to review it for you guys like seriously like even though I'm not like I, I love the color selection like it's beautiful but it's not something I absolutely need to have but if you guys want me to review it you want to know my thoughts on it shit I will make a way and I will get it, okay? So just let me know in the comments down below. Then what I did was I took the um the transition color that we used right here, which was Sora, and put that on the brush, and then I just went underneath here. This shade right here, which is Aphrodite. Oh shit, I didn't even tell you guys what you could use for the on, on the Sweet Peach palette. Let me just do this real quick. Just put it like that, just a little bit. So f to deepen up the crease, if you have the Sweet Peach palette, if you're using the Sweet Peach palette, you can use a mix between um, Puree here and Summer um, Charmed, I'm sure, which is this darker one. You can use that, mix them together like how I did with um, these two shades. Damn it. Like how I did with these two shades. I mixed these two together for my outer corner here. And then obviously with the bottom here, you can just take um um just charmed, I'm sure, right here. Sorry. Charmed, I'm sure, right here in the bottom, the way I did. Uh, obviously, and then going with your transition shade first. Uh my brain isn't working. I need to potty and I need to eat. Once I start getting hungry, it's 1.45 and I gotta get get off of here and go eat in a couple of minutes. But um, um, once that's down, I just take my Luxie 1 to 1 Mini Tapered with no product and I just start blending that out. I'm gonna go ahead and um, go to the bathroom and um, go make my lunch. And I will be back short. I will be back shortly and uh, finish up this video and uh, let you guys know who the winner is. Alright, you guys, I'm back to do the rest of the video. Just kidding. Now, um, these are my new sunglasses that I got from Kohl's. 
Aren't they cute? I love them. But yeah, I got these um, a couple days ago, a few days ago, something like that. Because from Influencer, I got um, $10 cold, $10 Kohl's cash. So I went and got these. And they were, they just happened to be on sale. And they're freaking cute. Cute. And for some reason, I lost my other sunglasses. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out and get another pair of sunglasses. Anywho, let's finish this shit up. I'm going to take my... um. My concealer brush that I use to clean up under my brows, and I'm going to take the color, this color right here. It is called Luna, and I'm going to put that on the fucking lid. Oh, and um, if you're using the Sweet Peach palette, you'll want to use this color Luscious right here. It is not ex the exact same color, but it is very similar, so um, yeah. So, hugging it on the lid. So I did post um, some Q&A information, well, a Q&A picture on my Instagram if you had seen it. Um, I don't know if you have or not, but there was only a few questions, so I was like, there's no point in me doing a whole Q&A video. So um, I do have some questions from that Q&A, and um, mainly from my like really, really like regular subscribers. Um, Queen Lily Cake, which I also did a collab with. She also has a channel. I'll put the, I'll link the collab here somewhere. Um, she asked, what are your kids' names and how old are you? My kids' names are Evangeline, Devin, and Jaden. And, uh, I am 30 years old. Yeah, I'm 30. I was born February 10th, 1987. Um, I'm an Aquarius. Not that anyone was asking, but I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm 30 years old and I'm still like getting used to saying 30 because it's weird for me. I don't, on the inside, I don't feel 30. I feel younger, you know, because I don't know. I just do. Anywho, um, and then the next question is, when at what age did you start smoking? This is from one of my good, um, good. One of my subscribe, well, loyal subscribers, her name is good15423. Um, well, I was nine years old when I smoked on a cigarette the first time. And this was when my mother and my father were going, were separated, and we had a lot going on. <clears throat> and, uh, wait, no, it wasn't nine? No, it was eight years old. Yeah, it was eight. They were going through a separation, and myself, my brother, and my sister were going through a hard time with dealing with that, and so we kind of like were like um, acting out, and we stole a pack of cigarettes, and we went underneath someone's porch, and we started smoking cigarettes, but it wasn't like, you know, we started becoming like chain smokers then, but I didn't actually start smoking smoking until I was like 15, and that was when... Um, Shit, my battery. Fuck! As you guys can see, my makeup is already finished. Um, my battery starting was starting to die. And um, I let it charge for a couple minutes. So um, I hope this will be good enough to, for me to finish this video. Um, but anyway, in, I tight lined a little bit with some black eyeliner. And I used my... Ciate London Wonder Wand Gel Cold Liner that I got in my Ipsy bag. The Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the Waterline here, which is in the color white. Obviously, you guys can see that. Um, I wanted to get a lot of this done before I came back on here. I did do some winged liner with my um, <clears throat> Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, which is black. And it's just, just a little, a little wing little wing going on there um, and then I didn't mention um, the what I used for the um, brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight I just basically went in with Artemis here Artemis or whatever it's called on the brow bone and the inner corner highlight um, if you're using the sweet peach palette you can use white peach right here as the brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight um, for that one in case anyone was wondering 
and I already put my highlight on my Cupid's bow because I put my lipstick on and what I did with my lips was they look really like plump but oh <laughs> uh, no anyway what I did with my lips is I took my ColourPop lippy pencil in the color Chi which is like a a darker nude color and I lined my lips I overlined obviously you can see that and then over top of that I used my Tarte color splash lipstick in the color beach babe which is a beautiful nude color um, and then in the middle like right here and uh, up here I just used my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker um, lip plumping gloss type deal in the color Rose and Shine. I love this stuff. It's so pretty and it makes my lips tingly and I love that. Back to what I was doing with the Q&A. Um, I'm just going to go through it really quick. Um, the next question was, um, I already did the smoking part. You guys already know when I started smoking. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, one of my lovely ladies, um, her name is Aisha, or Aisha, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Anyway, um, she, uh, um, she asked, what inspired you to start making videos for the world? Well, <clears throat> first of all, I watch a lot of YouTubers and I always like the idea of sharing my makeup knowledge with the world in general. Um, several years back, probably about six years back, I went to beauty school and um, I was pretty good at doing hair but um, and pretty good at doing nails too but I was, my passion was makeup and um, you know it took me a little while into beauty school, it took me a little while into that to realize that makeup was really what I loved, enjoyed doing and um, I remember that you know there was um, some of my friends. Well, I did my my friends makeup on on our downtime when we had nothing to do, and we had everything that we needed done. And um, so I did their makeup, and you know I remember having them ask me, "Oh, could you do my makeup? Could you do my makeup?" And it made me feel good, but it's just like. Makeup, I realized that it was everything to me. I loved, loved makeup. Um, it was hard for me to uh, deal with social anxiety every day when I went to beauty school. But um, anyway, so I, at the time, I really, really wanted to be a celebrity makeup artist. That was like my goal. Um, but then it was my social anxiety that kept me back, that was holding me back. And, um, and yeah, it was just, I don't know. But, so anyway, um, I don't know exactly how I got the idea to start my channel. I don't know what, I think it was my sister, because she was talking about that she wanted to start a, this, she wanted to start a YouTube channel, and I was like, you know what, I kind of want to start a YouTube channel too. Um, you know, mainly because I want to share, like, my makeup passion with everyone else, you know, and that was basically the only way that I could really do it and be okay. You know what I mean? Be like socially, like my anxiety wouldn't be like through the roof every fucking day. But yeah, so that's why I started YouTube videos. There you go. <laughs> um, next question. Um, uh, your favorite YouTuber um, by Z Z I don't know how to pronounce this. Zaharanishat. I'm sorry if I if I butchered that. I really apologize. But she asked, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite color, are you a tea or a coffee person? My favorite YouTuber, I mean, that should be kind of a given thing. <laughs> um, Mini MUA. <laughs> and da, 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 your favorite color, my favorite color. <laughs> my favorite color for a while has been blue. Um, but it's slowly changing. I still love blue, but like blue, like what my background, like a light blue, sometimes like more of like a bright neon blue, sometimes a neat um, blue green. Um, are you a tea or a coffee person? Definitely tea, but I love the taste of coffee. I love the taste of coffee. It's just, I can't, I can't do 
um, caffeine because caffeine makes me jittery and really anxious and it makes me feel sick. So anywho, that is the Q&A part. Um, and I want to um, finish up because I have not put my highlight on the rest of my face and I wanted you guys to know what I used in my um, pictures that I had. But yeah, I got this in my Ipsy bag. It's called Nomad um, Cosmetics Illuminated Highlighting Powder in Midnight Sun. And basically, I go. I went with this um, as my base color. I'm going to take my brush here and my Morphe 510 M510, and I just put it as a base color. I usually I usually use um, two highlights because I feel like you know you could you can really make a pretty beautiful like custom glow for yourself. I changed my brush, went with my new um, Bugatti's um, illuminator brush. I took this um, uh, Ofra Everglow in this lighter color obviously like I'm like obsessed with this highlight it's like amazing and I just went in there very light on its side and I tapped it off because I didn't want to go too ham <laughs> But I just put it like at the bone, like right here. And I buffed it in, kind of like blended it down. See what I'm saying? Like, ooh, girl. <laughs> but that just brought it to a whole another level. The winner of the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette is Jenna Wendell. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. But I am going to DM her and let her know that she won. Um, I'm going to give I'm going to give her a week at least to respond um, because I feel like not everyone is on social media every single day. So um, I'll just give her some time, and if she doesn't respond within that week's time, I will be choosing another winner. But anyway, um, you guys, don't get down about not winning. Um, trust me, I know how you feel because I've entered so many giveaways on YouTube and not won. And it's really disappointing. And especially since you're really excited about winning whatever it is that is being given away or whatever. But I will have plenty of giveaways in the future for you guys. Um, and I want you guys to know that I try to do plenty of giveaways. I mean, I don't have a lot to give away, but, and I'm not like, you know, the bigger YouTubers getting free stuff in the mail all the time to give away. So it's not like, you know, I basically pay my own money to give away what I have. So, um, well, except for the carbon cocoa thing, that was free for me. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button down below if you did. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the bell next to it. So you'll be notified when I upload new videos. It was nice seeing everyone and I hope to see you next time. Bye.